The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. One of the church fathers. Wanga wofi asori nase numubakon. Origin. Ah, your friend of origin. From Egypt. There was a great theologian as well. He also had a problem with prayer. And he questioned prayer. I want to read the statement he made. And I want you to listen closely to what he said. If everything happens in accordance with the will of God, and his, that is God's decrees, stand fast. And nothing of what he, God, wills can be reversed. Then prayer is absurd. Unquote. But I want to just repeat. See whether you understand this. Yeah. If everything happens in accordance with the will of God, and his decrees stand fast, and nothing of what he wills can be reversed, then he's trying to say that prayer is a silly act. It is unreasonable. It is ridiculous. It is absurd. He makes some sense. How do we respond to this man? Isaiah 38. Verse 1. Verse 1. Isaiah 38. Isaiah 38. I read from verse 1. Isaiah 38 from 1. In those days, Hezekiah became, that the king Hezekiah became ill and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to him and said, This is what the Lord says. Put your house in order. Because you are going to die. Now worry be wo. You will not recover. Now worry nyankwa. This is what the Lord says. Say na eradisi. So the prophet Isaiah. Enti odifu Isaiah. Is telling the king. Na oka atra ohine no. This is what the Lord says. Say say na eradisi. This sickness that you are sick of. Yari ya abobui. It will lead you to the grave. So because of his love for you, he asked me to come and tell you that put your house in order. If you don't have any will, king, just put something down. Because thou says the Lord, you will die, you will not recover. As he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, Lord, say, how I, I have walked before you faithfully. Said the man until we name no kremu. And with wholehearted devotion. Ne akuma and I've done what is good in your eyes. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Now this is the thing. 
Then the word of no. the Lord came to Isaiah. Go and tell Hezekiah. This is what the Lord, the God of your father David says. I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life. God decreed. Someone prayed. God has changed his mind. So origin is saying that why if God decrees something, nobody can change, then why should we pray? I'm saying that prayer is that kind of weapon that changes God's mind. Now to prove that. This is God changing his mouth. Now, he moved on to make certain statements. I'll deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I'll defend this city. This is the law signed to you that the Lord will do what he had promised. Because he said it and now he's relenting and he's changing what he has said. He says that give you a sign. I'll make the shadow cast by the sun go down the, the ten steps it had gone down on the stairway of Ahaz. So the sunlight went back the ten steps it had gone down. Now we are sunny nechi, we are don't know so in chichemu do a esane dadano. It is true that the decrease of God stands. Aya no crese onyame ashedi ejina. It is also true that the prayer of the saints can cause God. To reveal what he has decreed. The shadow has gone forward like that. He says that I'll cause the shadow to come back ten steps. The value of prayer none can measure. I want to call the check to prayer. And to pray fervently in this time. As never before. Prayer is relevant. Prayer is relevant. The atheist may not pray. Because he doesn't believe in any God. But the deist, see, deism, days for no. They believe in a God who created the earth. But our sins remain indifferent. He, he has created the earth. And then he has left it in the hands of mankind. But you see, that cannot be true. So to them, when you are praying, you are insulting God. That God, why, why? Are you lazy? Come and work. That is what they think. That when you are praying, you are insulting God. God has left us to do our own thing. And why are you calling God into they question. Because everything is in your hands. But Daniel chapter 4 disproves that. Now so Daniel woman